Wizard Foo here. Check it out. Still working on the Lone Ragger 5 versus 5 real time multiplayer combat game. And um, I'm getting the AI system going. And so the bots, being able to play the game actually solo with some bots, should be possible within the next couple weeks. Check this out. Once again, this is just a two dimensional mock up. It's eventually going to be a three dimensional game, pixel art. Three dimensional pixel art. But this is just the mock up, getting all the gameplay going. So check it out. The, um, the AI, this is an AI player. He just went and obtained the uh, lumberjack role. And um, let's, get him, let's get him going on a different angle. We'll restart and use some different random numbers, and he'll choose a different uh, point to start carving a lane towards. Let's see if he goes. Okay, there he's going upward this time. Or maybe he's going towards the mid lane. So what he's doing here is he's carving a path towards these little red dots here. That's called a, it says lane marker underneath it. That's lane marker 5013. This is lane marker 4730. There's a couple of other lane markers up here in the upper left and lower right of the arena. This is lane marker 8121. So anyways, he randomly decides which one to carve a lane towards and then works his way um, towards the lane marker. And as soon as he gets within the right distance, this is actually the distance is a little bit too big because he should have gone all the way to this lane marker and then started going back to the base. But anyways, he's carving his way back here and he's going to become a builder now. So it's going to take a while to get these AI to be smart enough that they feel somewhat human. Um, you know, he got stuck. I don't know why. But anyways, you know, over the over this week of developing this AI, it'll get better and better day by day. Um, I find that when you think of trying to create complex systems like an AI smart enough to seem like a human in a game where you can build buildings, fight enemies, you have to build bridges, you have to carve your own lanes. It's a lot of creative tasks that an AI has to do. So um, taking it one step at a time and just focusing on the smallest little bits at uh, each step along the way helps to uh, take that complex task and make it more simple. So let's break down what it's actually doing. This is um, this is my uh, behavior tree system for AI. It's basically data driven and um, all these become you know numbers when it runs in the AI system. But anyways, this is sort of like a, a tiny scripting language for me to uh, be able to change AI without having to recompile the game. So anyways, if it if there's if if he starts off and he has no role, then the uh, the AI will target the nearest building lumberjack. This little bit of code right here will need to be a lot smarter, as there more AI to need to work in a team. So for example, it it's not always going to choose lumberjack. It might choose builder um, at first, and it might um, and once there's more buildings like the archer building, oh maybe we need to become an archer now. So there'll be a lot more intelligence and logic going in right here. But anyways, for now, it just becomes a lumberjack, or it targets the nearest lumberjack building, sets a direction towards it, sets its mode, delays for a second, and then um, once the delay is finished, the AI sequences might, one of these sequences might take place here, all these uh, if roll lumberjacks. So this is uh, the lumberjack deciding which one of the lane markers to head towards. So it targets one of the random lane markers, starts moving towards it, sets mode to one, and then, and then in mode one, it can do one of these two different things here. Um, if it detects that it's really close to its target, which is a lane marker, actually this should be something more like 40 or so, so it gets really close to it. For um, and then it targets the the it goes back and targets the building builder and heads back to base, becomes a builder. So and then if it detects that it's near a tree, so this is where it goes. If if we're still in mode one and a lumberjack and we're near a tree, then target it and use button A, which is the axe. So swing the axe at the, um, the tree, then reset the direction, target the last target we had, which was the lane marker, and, um, and then start, once again, head towards the lane marker. Or actually this target last actually works double duty because it can, um, if we're tar we have targeted the building builder, then when we do this sequence here, it actually retargets the builder building and goes on and does that. So that's it for this video. Basically, um, I'm gonna be working more on this, uh, this sequence today where he becomes a builder 
And then what happens when they're a builder? What, what building do they choose to build? Where do they choose to build the buildings? Are they going to build like a tower near the base that's going to protect the base? Or are they going to go to the one of the lane markers and build a bridge across the river? Um, you know, this intelligence is going to happen. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. More coming later.